Hey young scholars, this is Mr. Granlin again. We're going to talk about what to do on day number two here to finish up our painting. Okay, so now this is all dried off, or mostly dried off, and we're ready for the second day. We have our shadows coming off, um, all the trees here, and we have our horizon line. Now, one of the problems that we have with our horizon line is it kind of got a little, a little hidden now. Because I uh, painted in some of the snow, made some mounds of some light blue colors. It's hard to see that line. And also, I noticed that it's a little hard to see the lines going around the tree in places. Especially if I left this pure white, um, it'd be really hard to see the trees when I take the tape off. So, let's go step by step what to do next. Step number one, we're going to rub all the salt off. We're going to go over to the garbage can. We're going to rub all the salt so it goes into the garbage can. We're going to draw our fences. I leave the tape on to do this so I know where the horizon line is. So I'm just going to draw a couple of lines. And then every so often, I'm going to stick like a some vertical lines. They almost look like train tracks. like that. All right now that we have this um, I'm gonna look to see if my tree trunks are visible. Now you don't have to do this if you've colored in the snow like I have with really light blue but if you can't see your trunks we're just gonna put a light little line down here in the foreground just to go around that so we can remember remember where our trunks are when we take the tape off okay we have our fence going in the background um, we've rubbed, rubbed all the salt off we've outlined our tree trunks in the foreground here we're now ready to take the tape off. Look at how cool that is. Wow! This is my favorite part. Now there's two ways that we can do the designs inside the tree. We want to do it the way birch trees look. We're just going to kind of randomly go across here and do some lines just like that. And I'm just kind of space them out because they almost have, birch trees almost have like these kind of black knuckles. And they're just kind of squiggly little lines that go across. If you ever look at trees, birch trees real close, they kind of they're kind of squiggly. And every once in a while, we can maybe like throw a little little twig kind of coming up off the the trunk there. But otherwise, we just go ahead and fill. the trunk up with these squiggly, funny squiggly little lines, maybe a few branches along the way. That's idea number one. Idea number two is to do something called Zen drawing. Zen drawing, super cool, super fun. All it is, is you just kind of divide it up into chunks and then you fill it with a random design. It can just be lines. 
Could be lines and dots. Could be all kinds of shapes. You know, maybe I do triangles here. There's really no wrong answer to this. But by filling it up with designs, we add a lot of variety and excitement to our art piece here. How cool is this? That's really looking nice. Maybe you want to switch it up. Maybe you want to do spirals. So at the time that you have for this project, spend it filling it up with the texture of birch trees or zen designs. And there you go.